Hello everyone and welcome back to another screencast. This one is on inequalities. It's the second in a series. It's on the number line and how we look and use a number line to either express or show an inequality or to uh, look at a number line and um, you know write an inequality. Okay. So what are inequalities? We've done this before. In an, an inequality is a relation that connects two numbers. It is normally used to compare two numbers on a number line by their size. Now, that's not strictly true, but a lot of the questions you'll get up to GCC level will be using a number line or using, and we'll go over this in a subsequent video, but almost like an equation. Okay, and we'll go over that in our next video. Here's a number line. Here's someone thinking and comparing and contrasting, and that's what we're going to do today. Now, another thing that we're going to do, which we haven't covered before, is cover that uh, the highs and the lows, or the lows and the highs, of the value of x. But do not worry, we'll go through that step by step. What are the signs? We've done this before. So I'd like an underground. They help us to understand and compare two numbers, or one number. Uh, so x is greater than 8, x is greater than or equal to 8, we know what that means, it could be 8 as well, uh, x is smaller than 8, so there we go, and smaller than or equal to 8, so again it could be less than 8 or it could be 8 itself. Alright, so let's look at some basic questions, so here's a number line and here is uh, an inequality x is shown on a number line. And what we've got to do is write that inequality down. So let's just start. So basically what this is saying is, is that x will fall somewhere along this line, right? Or beyond, because there's no stopping point, all right? So basically what we're saying is x is greater than 1, okay? Now, can we see how this is not shaded in? If this was shaded in, it would be equal to. So x is obviously a number bigger than 1, so x is bigger than 1. And it really is as simple as that. Let's look at the next one. This time it will be shaded in. So here we go, we've got the same thing. We've got x is bigger than or equal to 1, because we know it could be 1 or it could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 25, 154, Point three, um, 154, point 0.32, whatever, it doesn't matter, as long as it's bigger than 1 or equal to 1. So on this occasion, it will be including 1. All right. Okay, let's go over another one. So what I would like you to do is have a think about this now and see if you can work out what the answer would be before I tell you. All right, so we're going to have x. And on this occasion, x is somewhere between here and down lower. So x is going to be smaller than 1. Right now remember if this was shaded in it would be smaller than or equal to 1. Alright, so let's have another one again. We've got the exactly same question but this time with it shaded in. So now it's shaded in, it's x is smaller than or equal to 1. Because it could be 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and beyond the number line, because there is no stopping point there. Hopefully that helps you. Okay. Okay, so I want you to have a little think about what this possibly could be. It's one of those ones where x is in the middle, okay? So have a little think about it. Even if you're wrong, it doesn't matter as long as you think about it. Okay, so let's give it a little bit of a go now. What we've got is x in the middle. And x is going to be bigger than 1. All right, can you see that x is bigger than 1? So it's going to be somewhere along here. But it's going to be smaller than 5. But because it's shaded in, it's going to be equal to. So we've got the range between 1 and 5. So x is somewhere between 1 and 5. Okay, it's somewhere along this line. It's going to be bigger than 1 but smaller or equal to 5, all right? Very, very simple, I hope, all right, okay? Let's look at another one. 
you now try and work that one out and come back and see if you're correct. Okay, so on this one we've got 1, we've got our x, and we've got our 5. And often I do that uh, and then I fill in. So we know that x is bigger than 1, but because it's shaded in it would be equal to, so it's bigger or equal to 1, but it's smaller than 5. Right, because it's not shaded in, it must be smaller than 5, not equal to. Okay. Now we're going to go the other way. We're going to take our inequalities and we're going to draw them on the number line. So we've got x is smaller than 5. Okay. So the first thing you do is you put a circle. Now because it's not equals 2, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't shade it in. Now it's smaller than 5, so therefore it's going to be 4, 3, 2, 1 or somewhere else. So a line would go out from there and it would be that way. Give this next one a go, okay? So we've got x is bigger than or equal to 0. So remember your starting point, okay? I'll help you with the starting point. Your starting point is there. So are you going to go left or right? Right, now it's shaded in because it's equals 2. Are you going to go left or right? You're going to go right because x is bigger than or equal to 0. So it's going to go to the right. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or past that point. All right. These are where they get a little bit more difficult. But they're not really more difficult. So we've got x is bigger than minus 6 but smaller than 5. So what do you do? Your starting point. Starting point is to put a circle on minus 6, a circle on 5, and then link the two together. Now because they're not equals 2, they remain clear or unshaded. Okay, give this one a go please. So we've got x is bigger than or smaller than 1. Sorry, <laughs> that makes no sense. x is bigger than minus 1, but it's always also equal to and x is smaller than 4 or equal to 4. All right, so away you go, give it a go, and see if you've got it right when you come back. So first things first, we put a circle on 1, shaded, because it's equals 2. We put a circle on 4 and shade it, because it's equals 2, and we link the two together. All right, last one, I think, before we move into the world-famous quiz that we all look forward to. So we've got x is bigger than or equal to minus 3 and is smaller than 4. So what would you do? Do it now. Come back and see if you've got it right. Okay, so circle on minus 3, that's shaded in because it's equals 2. A circle on 4 but not shaded in because it's not equals 2. And put a line in between. As simple as that. Alright, so now it's time for the quiz. It's time for you to draw these first ones on the number line and it's then to express your inequalities below for those okay so basically you're doing the opposite of each one pause the video give them a go uh, come back and see if you're right if you get them wrong and you don't know what you're doing then please just keep watching the video till it goes in it might take a few goes uh, but you will eventually get it pause the video now and give it a go all right here we go here's the answers so for the first one we had uh, x is bigger than 2 or e bigger or equal to 2. So we had a, a, a shaded circle on 2 and then we went to the right. And the next one is x is smaller than or equal to minus 1. So we had a circle shaded in on minus 1 and we went to the left. Now we're going to express them below. So here we go. We've got our starting point minus 3, our ending point 2. Minus 3 shaded in, 2 is not shaded in and we draw, we draw a line between. And the last one We've got x is smaller than 1. So we have an unshaded circle on 1 and we go to the left. And that is it. Hopefully you've done really well at that. If you haven't, please go watch the video again. If you've done well, write a revision card. It will massively help you to be successful in maths. But as always, it's been a pleasure helping you with your maths today. Good luck with everything you do in the future.